Welcome to this comprehensive beginner's guide on how to trade on Cardano blockchain ecosystem. So in this video, we're going to explore how to use eternal wallets and learn about how to do our market research for the Cardano ecosystem coins with the tool called taptools.io. And then we're also going to learn about how to make our first trade using a DEX aggregators like DEX Hunter. And I think this video is a great entry video for someone who wants to learn more about the Cardano blockchain ecosystem. And of course, if you're interested in more content like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel channel and like this video and the timestamp of this video is in the description below so feel free to jump to any section you like and if so far sounds interesting let's get started so the first step to interact with the cardano ecosystem is to choose a software wallet that is specific for cardano blockchain and the two options that i recommend is eternal and vesper now those two are software wallets and it has all the features for support on cardano native tokens cardano nfts Cardano staking and Cardano smart contracts. And it also even has the decentralized application integration as well as the hard wallet integration. Now you might be asking, why can't we use a hardware wallet or AKA co-wallet? Well, Ledger is primarily for storing cryptocurrencies offline, but it does not have all the features or support for each of those blockchains, but it does have the integration support for working with the software wallets like Eternal or Vesper or MetaMask and so on. And speaking of MetaMask on my YouTube channels, I have tutorials on developing decentralized application using MetaMask and you might be wondering why can't we use MetaMask for this? Well, MetaMask is a general purpose wallet for Ethereum and the Ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchains like the Binance Smart Chain or the Polygons and so on. So because in this video, we're talking about the Cardano ecosystem, that's why in this video, we're gonna choose software wallets that is specific for the Cardano ecosystem. Now, both of those wallets are great and I'm just gonna stick to Eternal Wallet since the Eternal Wallet is the most popular Cardano wallet. And here you can see I already created my own wallet called Eric Tech. And here you can see I can be able to view my account, my transactions and here you can see i can also be able to swap coins and here's the address to receive payment and i can also be able to stake my assets and be able to do voting all right so once we have our wallet set up now what we can do is we can navigate to a tool called taptools.io now this website is similar to coin market cap where you can be able to view all the coins in the Cardano ecosystem. Now by default, the list shows the top gainers in 24 hours, right? You can also be able to change it to, for example, like six hours or five minutes, right? To see all the coins that are has the top gain in five minutes or so, right? And then we can also be able to sort by market cap. And here you can see Snack has the largest market cap value. And then we can also be able to sort by trending. So whichever coin that has the highest trend, and here by 24 hours, it was snack, right? And here you can see for each of those coins, it has the option to show the info. And we can also be able to see the age for each coin. So here you can see on this column, there is an age. So this coin was developed one years ago, and we can also be able to click on this coin to be able to see the candlestick charts. And we can also be able to connect our wallet. So for example, here, if I were to click on connect and I'm going to use eternal, and then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to eternal and try to choose an account to connect to our decentralized application. And what we're going to do is I'm going to click on eternal and it's going to have a connection request prompt. And this is the link that we're going to connect our wallet to, and I'm going to click on grant access. So now you can see we have our access to the wallet. So once we connect our wallet and you can see we can click on portfolio and currently we don't have any funds yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some fund. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to eternal and click on receive and this is the address to receive payments. All right, so now you can see I just sent 50 ADA to my wallet. And if I were to navigate to our portfolio and refresh, I should be able to see so 50 ADA and worth about $47 currently. And there's also additional feature called multi charts. So I can be able to have multiple charts display at the same time. So for example, I wanna compare the snack and min swap. So once we've done our research using the tap tools.io, now we can jump to another tool called Dex Hunter. Now Dex Hunter is not an exchange platform. It simply just find the exchange for us to complete the transaction. So for example, if I were to connect my wallet and I'm going to connect using Eternal and I'm gonna grab my access. So once I connect my wallet, and I, if I were to click on one of the coin, for example, snack, and I can be able to purchase a transaction. So for example, if I were to sell my ADA to buy snack, to in order to complete this transaction, Dex Hunter will basically explore all the decentralized exchange to proceed this transaction. So for example, if I were to buy like 50% of my ADA to buy snack, and this is the amount of snacks that we have. So if I were to click on swap, so once I purchase the tokens and I can click on the orders here 
and you can see that currently it's pending and you can see that dex hunter will basically find a decentralized exchange to proceed the transaction so now if i were to click on my uh, portfolio okay so here you can see we have this amount of snack in our holdings and one thing to know is that before we do a transaction for example let's say if i want 50 percent of my ada swap to snack if we were to click on the details here it also shows you the fee so the uh, decentralized exchange fees and there's a deposit so after the transaction is done the two ada is being returned back to you and there's also a service fee and such and then we can also do limit order so if i want to do a limit order when the price dropped to a certain price so i want to purchase a snack when it drops 10 percent or 25 percent or 50 percent right then I can be able to do so. So for example, if it drops 5%, then I'm just going to uh, place the order. Okay, and the order has been placed and I can also do one more for 10% and you can see it is using the MinSwap uh, exchange platform. So I'm just gonna do the rest. So now you can see these are limit orders and we're using the MinSwap exchange.